Few passages in scripture communicate the beauty and theological richness of Jesus' heart as much as John chapter 15 does. In his encouraging instructions to the disciples shortly before his journey to the cross, Jesus teaches them about the Holy Spirit. He comforts them, he encourages them to love each other, and he prays for them. In the middle of his teaching, Jesus tells the disciples this powerful statement found in John 15, 16. He says, You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, and so that whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. We hear clearly Jesus communicating his heart in this powerful passage of scripture and the truth that his disciples did not choose him. Jesus chose them. He made the first initiating move towards them to have a relationship with them and invited them to follow him. In the same way, Jesus has chosen each of us to have a relationship with him and to follow him. What that means is that you are chosen. May God remind your heart today, I choose you. What a glorious and grace-filled call. God has chosen each of us to be his sons and daughters, to have a loving relationship with him and to follow him. His invitation for each of us is the same ancient one from scripture, follow me. As you reflect on this passage of scripture today, may you find rest in your soul knowing that God has incarnated into our world and initiated a relationship with you. Even our sin, failure, shortcomings, doubt, fear, shame, whatever it is, etc., Jesus still willingly and joyfully chooses to have a relationship with you. As a result of being chosen, the response of our hearts and lives is spiritual fruitfulness, being made to be more like Christ with each day. Take a moment to meditate on the truth that you are chosen by God, and then take some time to thank the Lord for choosing you to have a relationship with Him. Remember today how loved you are by God.